this is my crystal bowl and I kind of chime it and it brings in that kind of amazing energy. That's the feeling when I'm having a bath or just wanting to feel empowered and light and just clear my mind in the most magical way. This is my sacred space. Hello of you all darlings, I'm Charlotte Tilbury. Welcome to my beauty boudoir. In fact, you are the first people ever allowed in my beauty boudoir. It would have to be you, Allure, how much I love you. In this space, I come in, I get ready in the morning, I put on my makeup, I do my hair, I have baths in here at the end of the day, and I'm surrounded by all of these kind of beautiful mirrors with hand-painted goddesses that inspire me. Tanit, who is the goddess of creation and reborn skin. There's Nike, goddess of victory, we love her. Katesh, the goddess of ecstasy and creation and pleasure. I've got all these amazing goddesses that inspire me, and it's that sacred space of making me feel positive and happy because I believe that all women are goddesses. Now, darlings, I want to show you lots of my little secrets. So I start off by using my Goddess King cleansing ritual, and I always love to double cleanse. So I start off with my citrus oil, and then use my charcoal to kind of melt all my makeup, and then really kind of, this really cleans the pores, takes all the impurities, kind of purifies your skin, so which is really amazing to double. I always use my fabulous serum. So this is my Magic Crystal Elixir Serum. This is like a kind of, food for the skin, like this kind of super food for the skin that just goes down and it smooths out your lines and pores. I cannot live without this. In the morning, I put on my magic cream and my magic eye cream. And these are amazing because it literally turns around your skin and gives you that incredible plumped up glow. Literally within like 28 seconds, it's not one of those creams that take 28 days and that's why it became famous backstage, known as my magic cream. And then my eye cream is incredible. My eye cream has plant stem cells and retinol in it. So that around my eyes, because obviously that area of the skin, as we all know, is a lot weaker and I always use it around the fine lines around my mouth. I do love to have everything sort of super organized. I'm a bit of a tidy freak. I love everything to be color coordinated. It makes me feel calm and organized. So here I have all of my lipsticks, my concealers, my foundations, my Hollywood flawless filters, my eyeshadows. And then in here I have just some of my, if I'm gonna use a mask or, you know, just popping out with my kind of, you know, my pillow talk eyeshadow palette, which is one of my faves. Just my little drawers that I pop a little bit of maquillage on, darling. So darling, let's talk hair because it's always hair and makeup. I have worked with some of the great hairdressers in the world and I have a few of their products here I could not be without. This is my friend Sam McKnight and it's called Cool Girl Hairspray and I'm sure it's inspired by our friend Kate Moss because we're always like, cool girl, cool girl. Anyway, I want to be a cool girl, cool girl. It's just great, it gives you that effortless spray. Your hair just feels silky and relaxed but it sort of gives a little bit of nothing body and just cool. It's just cool. Orbe, this is Gold Lust, and this is amazing Gold Lust. It's like an intense mask, and I have quite dry hair, as well as quite dry skin, so this really gives you that luxe, rich texture. So I put this on and it's really incredible, but also what gives me a kind of great shine, which I took me years to kind of find, Josh Wood, his gloss, is amazing. He's the, one of the best colorists in the world. I never dye my hair, but what I do like to do is put this gloss on and it just enhances, enriches the color. It's not a dye, but it gives you this gorgeous luxe shine to your hair. My hair brushes, this hair brush is amazing. This I always do my fringe with, my round brush, I can never live without it. And darlings, come over here. This is the hair wrap, and so in lockdown, I had to do my own hair. You can give yourself a kind of gorgeous beach wave in like 10 minutes and I feel like I'm a hairdresser now. And my Dyson also hair dryer, which is great and it doesn't dry my hair out in the same way. It's like really game changing for me, the air wrap and the hair dryer. So we are here in my dressing room because I always think, darling, it starts with the dress. Sometimes it starts with the makeup. If I'm really inspired to do a certain look, but often it will start with the dress. So here we have a blue dress that I wore at the Met Ball, made by my dear friend Zach Posen, who's such a brilliant genius. I have many amazing kind of mermaid moments in that. Then here is actually quite a special dress. This one is my Alice Templey dress. She made for me um, going to see the Queen of England when she gave me my MBE, which I'm very, very proud of. So these dresses have many, many special memories because, you know, the moments that I've lived in my life, it was incredibly important when I was creating my beauty boudoir that I was near a fashion wardrobe of looks to go with a fashion wardrobe of makeup. 
I never stop thinking about creating. If I'm in the morning trying new things, often my MPD team will bring a tray of various different things that I will then be playing with, testing with. You know, it might be a kind of new look. I might be sort of, you know, in the mirror sort of playing with the makeup or playing with a kind of new skincare formula. So here is my magical play table of different things that I'm kind of testing and trying. Shh, can't show you. I do love my Georgia Louise bowls. I wake up in the morning and I always ice and I really get the kind of blood flow going around my eyes. So I take these and go in circular motions in and out. It's so great because it really sort of constricts all the blood vessels so your eyes look much whiter and depuffed and much more awake. It's really great for you. So I love doing that. I also love my kind of face gym quick. If I'm to need a little depuffing and lifting, I just do that quickly with a bit of my serum and it really does tighten and lift. If you're feeling a little bit like you've had a bit of a heavy night or you're tired or depuffing, it's so great. Then I also love using, I bought this off my friend Georgia Louise. This has a bit of red light and I will often put this on for like 15, 20 minutes a day. It's great for anti-aging and smoothing out pores and just tightening. I love a little gadget. And then I also, again, always put my serums under these machines and get that to penetrate deep into the skin. So darlings, this is my bathtub and I do love a luxurious bath. It's quite an English thing to do. I have my Epsom salts here, which I have lots of Epsom salts in all of these different jars. I have some with lavender um, and they're just so wonderful. Himalayan salts. I put these in the bath and they really soak up all the toxins. They clear your liver. You will have such a delicious sleep. While I'm doing that in the bath, I love using my Goddess Skin clay mask. So I'll put on my clay mask. Um, I then might put on my dry mask. I multi-mask while I'm in the bath. I might do one for 10 minutes, the other one for 10 minutes. But then around me, I kind of light my candles. I also like my Diptyque candles, Bays and Figure is uh, are really wonderful essence. But I love to sort of play with lots of different aromas and oils. And I layer the different fragrances around the room. When I come out of the bath and I put oil on, my great friend um, Miranda Kerr, who has this gorgeous line called Cora, I put on her oil all over my body. I slather it in oil and her gorgeous, delicious moisturizer all over. And I do it when my skin is slightly wet so that it really kind of penetrates deep into the skin. Skincare is self-care, darling. And so I wanted to really put that kind of skincare self-care inside my products because I care about all of you because you are all gorgeous stars that need to be nurtured. So darling, there's a couple of special things I'd love to show you before you leave my boudoir. One is this beautiful, magical pot, which is thousands of years old. My husband, when I launched in America, found it in this amazing, he was walking past a shop window and he saw this artifact and he bought me this beautiful, ancient pot, where apparently he didn't know, but they used to use it to mix special moisturizer, magic cream. So who knows whether I was back at the time of Cleopatra mixing magic cream back then. So that is very special to me. And it was when I launched in America and it was an amazing record breaking launch. So, you know, thank you to my husband and maybe a bit of the magic from this pop made it a record breaking launch. The other thing that is very special to me is my hand drawn star. It's rose gold and diamonds and my great friend Miguel Howard designed it for me. Actually, this is my hand-drawn star here inside my product. There's always a hidden star somewhere, either on the mirrors or inside the boxes somewhere, because when I was a makeup artist uh, at the beginning of my career, struggling to kind of make it, I remember a beauty editor writing to me saying, knock it to them, Charlotte, I know you'll be a star. And that really empowered me and gave me the strength to kind of carry on when it was a very kind of, there was a recession going on, it was difficult to sort of get anywhere. I know that makeup empowers women and makes women feel like the most beautiful version of themselves. And that's just my mission in life to make everyone shine bright like a star. So very kind of important that this little star here is a kind of magical chain that I wear a lot and it's been with me on my journey and it's with you on your journey whenever you buy a piece of Charlotte Tilbury. Allure my darlings, thank you so much for watching. It has been so much fun. I really hope you've enjoyed my beauty boudoir as much as I do and I will see you next time. <laughs>